Paul, well done. First away victory ticked off. Happy with that one today? Unbelievably so. Um, the week what we've had, um, coming here with the winds blowing a gale, you're dealing with that first half. We dealt with it and uh, last 15 minutes when we kept putting it down the sides of them caused no ends of problems to them. Um, and like just the way they, the lads have dug in, there's that resilience. It's, it's it's just a great environment at the moment. The boys are all digging in and vying for each other, and uh, it's it's just a, a joy to be in and around them. And like to see the faces when they've kept a clean sheet the first one of the season, it, it, it's brilliant. They go in that dressing room, they they're all buzzing and jumping around, giving Dylan a, a big round of applause for his debut. Bless him, who's done really well. It's just a good 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 group of boys. A um, little bit of expectation today, obviously given Southport's position, they changed the manager so you never know what you're going to get. A, a tricky afternoon really in many aspects, but you dealt with it and were worthy winners. It's a banana skin because obviously they've not started off well and you know what happens when someone else comes in who's got fresh ideas and people lift the game and stuff, they're, they're going to end that run of defeats and you just pray to God that it weren't against us today and they're going to get caught in a transition today because Burgess was a footballer and he'll want them to play and you could see at times I was getting confused whether to go long or try and play the game but um, they'll be alright this, this, this is a big football club and I'm sure they'll turn it around as well so for us to come here after a long trip on a, a very windy day and keep a clean sheet and two great goals happy days Jimmy Knowles at the forefront of both goals, setting one up, winning the penalty and then scoring the penalty and Kelsey Mooney putting in a big shift there, looking at a good partnership at the moment. The, the three of them are a handful and, it, and if we'd had them on Tuesday night, it would have been a different game for us again. Uh, we've got a very thin squad and we've just got to look after them and wrap them in cut and wool and uh, keep them rolling out for us because when, when we've got them out there, we're a force to be dealt with. And a clean sheet, as you mentioned, I know you and Cam and everyone at the back would like that and, and Cam preserved it with a magnificent save right on 90 minutes. Cam's just uh, a class act and uh, he's come and done everything what we've asked for him. We've said, can you come and help the boys out, take some uh, some of the pressure of the long crosses and stuff like that. And he's come and smash one first half and then he's come and took a magnificent one off a long throw. Uh, and he's made a couple of first half a great save, which is a key moment in the game as well at nil nil. And then obviously in the last uh, last couple of minutes, he's made another one but, uh, as a back unit and everyone else, is, they've worked their socks off today. And just finally, it wasn't quite a Daryl Clare moment in front of that away end, but not bad. 102 away fans and I presume you, you and Ian and everybody in there appreciate those efforts oh, that have been you, made today. You, you can't thank him enough. It's, it's a long way from to come during the summer holidays, so it's costing them a lot of money and uh, to get behind the boys again. Uh, it's, it's great that we're sending them home with uh, obviously the three points and uh, long may this uh, enjoyment come for us and have party buses to go a long way home for them.